Hey all, Sammy here with Avid CNC. This week we're visiting Thingergy in Los Angeles, where they're working on some amazing 10 foot tall statues of Borderlands 3 characters. They're going to show us how they use their Pro CNC to make a foam mold to cast and build a giant fiberglass sword for one of the characters. They begin by taking the game assets provided to them and creating a scaled and refined 3D model. This is split in half and mirrored to be cast into two parts and then reattached at the seam. In the file, they will embed the two halves of the sword into the material and engrave the form of the sword to create a mold. For this project, they use Vectrix VCarve to create the 3D carving toolpaths. Here, they're using a 10 inch long ball nose. Feeds and speeds will vary greatly depending on the size and type of your material router bit, and the scale of the engraving. There are several steps in preparing the foam for casting, including several layers to help seal the foam. First, they coat the foam with an enamel house paint to prevent any materials from soaking into the foam. Next, they brush on a layer of wax to help with the texture of the foam as another sealing layer. Then they spray on a coat of mold release. It's important to make sure that each of these layers are fully dried or cured before moving on to the next step. Now the mold is ready for casting. First, they brush in a thick layer of epoxy, making sure to coat all of the surfaces. This initial layer will be what is sanded down and finished after being released from the mold. So consistent application is important. Next, they mix a two-part epoxy and a healthy dose of chopped fiberglass. You can adjust the proportions of epoxy to fiberglass depending on the viscosity that you're aiming for. This is brushed in and evenly distributed to help create the shell of the sword. Finally, to give the sword strength, they cut lengths of fiberglass cloth, overlapping the strips and tapping them into the wet resin from the last layer. Epoxy and fiberglass are messy and often create sharp, uneven edges. They begin to clean up the edges here with a pneumatic grinder to match the edge to the top layer of the foam. To release the sword from the mold, they begin by soaking the foam in water, and then shooting water and compressed air between the fiberglass structure and the foam to break the seal. Then they go on to clean up the edges and surfaces of the sculpture. The Thingergy team did an amazing job at what they do best, making really cool things. They assembled the cast parts, finished the surfaces, painted it, and installed LED lights. Thanks everyone for watching, and we hope this inspires you to use your CNC in new and creative ways. Big thanks to Thingergy for sharing some of their CNC tips and fabrication processes with us. We can't wait to see what you make next.